Hey everybody, this is Sky with Sketchy's Garage, and today we're going to work on the budget beater a little bit. Uh, we're going to put some exhaust on it. Uh, I got this for 25 bucks. It came off a 70s model Caprice. It's kind of small for that, but we're going to make it work. It was cheap, and this thing's kind of loud. I'll go ahead and start it up for you guys so you can now hear how loud it is. So you guys kind of get the point, it's a little much to be driving around the neighborhood like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this exhaust, fix it up and put it on there and show you how to do it. Let's get started. Always disconnect your battery cable and if you got an MSD box or any electronics in the car, it's always a good idea to unhook the positive and the negative leads going to the box. Uh, whenever you weld on a vehicle. It could cause an arc and short your box out, and there's nothing worse than to have a running car, do something, and then not have a running car. Okay, the first thing I like to do is to get a quick measurement from your headers. See how the headers on this are staggered? This one right here is further back than that one over there. If we went ahead and made our exhaust, made them symmetrical, it would end up the muffler would be sitting way offset. And on this, it probably wouldn't bother me. But most stuff, I want to try to make it as symmetrical as possible and look good as possible. So that's what we'll start off. Uh, we just pulled a measurement from the back of the header to a brace that should be the same on both sides. And that'll give you your offset. And then you can address your exhaust pipe from there. Okay guys, we took a measurement and uh, about the, the easiest way to go about it is we got about 70 inches from the back of the muffler to up here. We can cut it off here and put a flange to mount to the header and then uh, we shouldn't have to do a super whole lot and that'll let the back of the muffler land about right in here and then we can come down, we can weld, weld to the seat seat belt seat belt bracket and that should be good and sturdy good enough for this unit anyways I'm gonna go ahead and cut that up and uh, stick one up there and see what it looks like I'm gonna mark 70 inches from the back of the bumper to the front of this This one over here, I'm going to go 67 inches because we got to account for the offset of the header. So we'll take three inches off. guys are going to use the chop saw like this, uh, make sure you don't have a painted car. Uh, if you got a car that's got a nice paint job on it, anytime you cut with a cutoff wheel or chop saw, it puts off like a dust that's uh, basically just small metal particles and it'll land on top of your car and if you don't wipe it off it'll cause a surface rust.
All right, guys, you see how uh, they welded some itty bitty tiny pipe in there. We're going to go ahead and take the chop saw and cut that, and then we'll put a bigger end on it. Hopefully, it'll let it breathe a little bit better. Same here. Take the chop saw, cut it about right there, then put a piece of two and a half or three inch turn down on it. Okay guys, you see me cut that off there, back there. I went ahead and took a grinder and ground this, cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, aluminized pipe, it always welds a little funny anyways. So uh never hurts to clean the coating off of it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and stick these up in there and then tack them up and then pull them back out and weld them. Go ahead and bolt these up. I prefer not to put the gasket in it quite yet. I just uh, bolt it up, snug it up a little bit, and then we'll slide the exhaust pipe on it. Okay guys, we got one side done. I was able to weld it all the way around without dropping it out, so that's going to save me a little bit of time. Welded it to this brace. Uh, hopefully it won't rattle too much. If it does, oh well, it's just a race car. One thing I wasn't real, real happy with, I'm not real happy with the way this hangs down. It's a little bit lower than I would like, but for for time reasons and whatever else this probably won't stay on here very long anyhow so we'll worry about that another day let's go ahead and hang the other side all right guys i got that stuff welded up I'm going to let it cool off a second and go ahead and put gaskets in it and then uh, we'll start her up and see the, see the difference. I'll catch up with you guys in a second. Okay everybody, we got the gaskets and everything in it. Got everything tightened up. Just want to do a real quick check, check around. Make sure you got at least a fat fingers clearance between any wires, brake lines, gas lines, uh, shifter cables get it three quarters of an inch or so you'll be all right you don't want to go no closer than that 
I think we're looking all right. We're gonna go ahead and set this bad boy down, see what she sounds like. All right, guys, we're fixing to start this. I'm gonna tell y'all a quick story about how I about screwed the pooch this weekend. Um, I was in a hurry trying to get the car ready to go racing on Saturday. Um, I was helping another guy out on his car and it ended up taking up a little bit more of my time than I anticipated. So I got the ideal. This car don't have nothing fancy on it at all. And uh, I got a bunch of stuff through some trading and stuff. And I seen that. I said, well, you know, that's a, that's a safety deal. Let me make sure I put a good return spring and everything on it. And I stuck it on there. And I always good about checking wide open throttle and making sure that it comes back. Well, I did that. No problems. Get the car done. Set it down on the ground. Stick the air cleaner on it. Take it down the road. And it hangs wide open on me. Luckily, I caught it early and was able to get the car shut down. No bubbles like that. No troubles like that. But what ended up happening is this piece right here see how it floats well I guess it locked itself up and when I hit wide open throttle it hung itself on the air cleaner so moral of the story is whenever you get your ride together and you take it for that first little test hit that first wide open throttle don't don't hold it very long just do a quick blip make sure everything does okay and then kinda go from there and make sure you're doing it in a space that you got a little bit of uh, time to make a decision and uh, time to work with basically luckily I was in a pretty wide open space and I had options but if I would have ran it out it could have been real bad so just one of those things you always want to keep an eye on and keep a mind on it only takes a second like it quieted up quite a bit does sound like I got a pretty good exhaust leak up here Alrighty, boys and girls, that was about an hour's worth of our time this evening after work. Uh, I think it was well worth the time. Can cruise around the block now without getting the neighbors mad at us. Uh, the next couple days, we're going to dive into this. We're going to do an autopsy on it, see what went wrong. I'll see you guys on the next one.